Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do the daily vibes for around the 12th, right? Right around the 12th. Now, keep in mind that the timing is fluid and not every reading is for you. This reading is not sign specific, it's for who it resonates with, okay? So, what do we have for a message today? I have not forgotten about the rest of the weeklies. You know, they're going to come out when they come out. Hopefully, I can get some done tomorrow. I was on the road all day today, socializing. Anyhow, and apparently that's what I was doing last night too. So anyhow, um, what do we got for a message today? What do we have? But it's, I'm, I'm going to do them tomorrow. Some. Anyhow, what do we have for a message today? Knight of Wands. Knight of Wands. This is act now, think later. So this is taking action, spur of the moment action. Uh, we may have somebody here that is moving in a new direction really fast. Whatever they're doing, they're doing it fast. Uh, this may be somebody that is up for a challenge. You know? Knight of Wands could be dealing with an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Doesn't have to be. This is somebody who's full of passion. Okay, they're full of it. Doing something. There's no stopping them. Whatever it is, they got a strong desire to do something. Hermit reversed. Hermit reversed. Let's get. There's been some sort of restriction. Okay, this is coming out of restrictions. The Knight of Wands does not like restrictions, and it's right next to the Hermit Reverse. So somebody may have been in a period of withdrawal, or you know, taking a time out, or they may have been quiet or something. I feel like there's going to be a change. Okay, this is uh, coming out of hiding. Socializing, that's the hermit reverse, is socializing, it's reconnecting. Interesting that I told you guys that. Knight of Wands, moving very fast, very passionate movement. Um, fast forward. Five of Swords, unstable effort. So there's something going on here. Unstable effort. That's some sort of... Well, we might have a cocky individual here by the looks of things. I'm not sure, but that's kind of what it looks like. Um, very cunning. Thinks he's getting away with something. This guy thinks he's getting away with something by the looks of things. Definitely a planner because we have the hermit and then that five of swords. This is somebody that's very intelligent doing something. Extremely intelligent. Very cunning. He's got some sort of plan because the hermit is reversed. He's, somebody has a plan. Somebody has a plan. There is some sort of plan here. Action. Action. Going somewhere. That Knight of Wands is going somewhere. It's doing something very bold. Nine of Cups reversed. Nine of Cups reversed. That's before the Five of Cups now. I put it on the, I mean the Five of Swords. I put it right on the other side of the Five of Swords. But I said Five of Cups, so I'm wondering if somebody's been grieving over a loss. Not happy. I mean, the, that Nine of Cups reverse is not happy. Lack of wish fulfillment, unfulfilled. You got somebody here who has a strong desire for something. They're not happy. Um... <sighs> the emperor this is somebody that's taking charge this is a leader this is a boss this is um a protector this is a protector so we do have a 
you know, this is like a masculine energy taking charge, taking control, making a decision. Somebody is making a decision. This is a leader. This is a fearless. This is battle ready. This person is ready. They're ready. They're always battle battle ready. This is somebody that is in a strong position of authority that somebody's not happy, so they're taking action in some way. And the emperor can be any sign, okay? It can be. This is a strong masculine energy who does not have fear because the knight of wands is somebody that doesn't have fear. Bold, daring. There's been some sort of loneliness. Somebody's been thinking. They may have been planning. Um, the five of swords is unstable. We got somebody here that makes, it says unstable effort. Maybe they, they, they make effort and then they stop. They may have some control issues. I wonder if we have somebody here that has some control issues. Material, a lack of abundance, a lack of, of happiness. There's a lack of emotional abundance here, but there's a lack of an abundance anyway. Hmm. Six of Pentacles reversed. That's a lack of, of give and take. Only giving breadcrumbs right next to that Five of Swords. So that makes sense. We have somebody who may have been un unenlightened or unawakened or, you know, the Hermit Reverse could be somebody that has been not seeing something. They may have been in their ego with that Five of Swords. Six of Pentacles reverse, not receiving, not receiving. Somebody's not receiving. And the Nine of Cups reverse is not receiving either. So somebody's not receiving. They're not receiving anything. It's like they're not getting any, maybe they're not getting any satisfaction. You know, they're not getting, maybe they're not getting any. I mean, the Knight of Wands is very sexual energy. It really is. So I'm not sure if somebody's not getting any. Underneath that Nine of Wands, uh, mirroring it is the Six of Pentacles reversed. So that's like not receiving, not, somebody's not receiving. They're not receiving happiness. They're not receiving wish fulfillment. There's a lack of equality. There's a lack of give and take. There's a lack, some of this may be even, there could be some financial problems. They're not getting, this could even be a job. You may have somebody here that is not getting enough money. Um, there's not enough money or something like that. There's not equality. Somebody's not, not being treated fairly. We may even have an abuse of power here. I got to be honest, or abuse of generosity. So you got to be careful. When you get the Five of Swords next to the Six of Pentacles reversed, you got to be careful. We may have somebody here that doesn't have good intentions. This person is cunning. It's cunning and coy. You know, they may not be getting the abundance or the emotional fulfillment or the attention with that Knight of Wands that they need. Somebody's not getting what they need. They're not. Or what they desire. This is doing something because this isn't enough. It's not enough. It's not enough. Somebody may be getting their bubble burst with that Nine of Cups reverse. This isn't enough. This, that's what I want to say. Not giving enough. There could be some ties even that are being severed with the Five of Swords and the Six of Pentacles reversed. This could be like a losing, losing something, losing a battle, losing a job, losing something that could have brought wish fulfillment. Maybe there's been a delay. Knight of Wands is acting, taking action right now. There's no happiness here. This is not wish fulfillment. I'm not getting, I'm not receiving. Somebody's not receiving something. So taking charge, you know, gaining, you know, gaining control, taking back control. Somebody may be taking back control. They're taking control. Mm. We have a strong masculine here that doesn't have any fear. Okay, with the Knight of with the Knight of Wands and the um, Emperor. That's a masculine energy, and all you females can bring it up and say it's all you, whatever. I don't care. All right. Love the lovers, the lovers. This is this is a um, get together or something. Falling in love, courting, 
could be a very sensual, uh, sexual time, getting together, uh, passion. I do feel like we have a passionate get together here. Unexpected choice in love. Um, this is love. This is an angel that has is brought in two people together. It's a healing love. It's a perfect match. It is a perfect match. It's clear that it's a perfect match. There's been some sort of loneliness because that hermit reverse is loneliness. Five of Swords could be walking away from loneliness. The lovers is an unexpected choice in love. It's making a choice, a choice between two options. It is making a decision. You know, it could be a yes, could be a no, you know. Knight of Swords. So this is some, we could have two people here. We probably do because the lovers is two options. Knight of Swords is somebody that is a warrior, right? This is somebody that throws themselves into the heart of a situation. Could be the same person. This is a fighter. This is somebody that doesn't give up. They want to win. They do not plan on losing. This is somebody, again, that is very, very intelligent. We could have a sudden arrival here. Somebody could suddenly arrive. It could be, you don't see it coming. You Maybe you don't see it coming. Somebody is not getting the attention that they deserve. They're not. But this is like, I gotta go. I gotta go. I must do this. I gotta do this. This is going somewhere. This is definitely traveling somewhere, going somewhere with the Knight of Wands and the Knight of Swords. It is. I feel like we have somebody here that is throwing themselves. They're rushing. They're in a hurry. It's like they got this idea, right? Or they got this vision or they got this sudden desire or they got to put some sort of plan in action. I feel like the plans have already been made or they've been thought about with that hermit reversed. Somebody is coming in. They're coming in fast. This is somebody that knows what they want. And the lovers is a card of consequences. It is. Because there's two options here. Choose wisely because there's somebody else that is coming in fast. This person may think may may think that they are going to get what they want. They could be losing it. They could be losing a partner because next to that lover's card upright is the Six of Pentacles reversed right next to it. So that's losing. That's losing. Because there could be somebody else that is flying right in. They're flying right in. Right? This may also be getting out of a situation really, really quick. Headed towards a lover. Because this, this is headed right towards the lovers. So this is somebody that is moving. And they're moving. They are definitely moving. They are in a hurry. They're in a hurry. They're headed towards a partnership or a union that... I'm not sure that they... <sighs> I'm not sure they see it coming. Um, you got to be careful, though. Well, I got to say that because the Five of Swords and the Six of Pentacles reversed, that's be careful. That is definitely be careful because I feel like unable to give or receive love with that Nine of Cups reversed. But there is a connection here. There's a deep connection. There's a spiritual connection with this lover's card. There is. Somebody may be taking action to do something because they don't want to lose. The Six of Pentacles, they don't want to lose. This is somebody who doesn't want to lose. This person likes to win. They do not like to lose. Okay, this person is, a, is really a boss. You know, I'm, the, I'm in control. This is taking control. Somebody is definitely going to be taking control of a situation. They're going to be making a decision because that's a decision that is an intelligent decision as well. It's very intelligent, smart. Um, my stomach. The hangman reverse. Somebody's definitely been thinking a lot. They've been reflecting. They've been sacrificing themselves for something, struggling to let go. 
somebody may be being let go. They may be being let go, whether it's from a job or from a relationship. Somebody could definitely, because there's a new opportunity, there's a new love here, there's a new connection here. You know, that is letting go, letting go. That's, that it's been wasting time, sacrificing themselves needlessly, but then it's reverse. It's like letting go. And it's right next to the lovers, making a decision to let go. This person, somebody is letting go. They have, they are, or they're being let go. Um, there's been some sort of sacrifice. It's a needless sacrifice. Maybe trying to prove something to somebody. Maybe there's even a father figure here or a boss or something like that. But something is happening. It's like, and it's happening fast. Somebody, I don't know if somebody is getting in a fight with somebody because it's a five of swords. Could be a fight, a battle. There's definitely a lot of passion here. So there could be some somebody that's acting, you know, they're, they're taking action because of some sort of, you know, maybe we, we have some sort of defeat here. There's going to be a change with that five of swords. Fives are about change. Um, not happy at all. There's a new opportunity here for love with that lovers. It's a healing love. There's kindred spirits. It's a perfect match. Thinking a lot about it with the hermit and the hangman, both right here. That's a lot of, of thought going into this, you know, um, having a struggling, somebody has been struggling to make a decision and struggling to let go. But this is a perfect match. Deciding, somebody's deciding, they're de making a decision. Hmm. Five of Pentacles, it says strife. Five of Pentacles, it looks like a pentacle, but it's actually the Five of Wands. I've been doing it a lot lately. Five of Wands, that is strife, it's tension. Uh, competition, conflict, another five. So we definitely have a change that is coming. There's been some, we have somebody here that's struggling. We have power struggles here. They're struggling with a choice. That Five of uh, Wands is right underneath the lovers. That is a choice. But they know because the Knight of Swords knows this is somebody that knows what they got to do. I know that I have to do this. I want to do this. I need to do this. Queen of Cups reversed. I can't. It is what it is. I don't know if somebody is leaving somebody. I mean, it's just like this. Going in a new direction. There's a loveless situation here. There's no love coming. That's a lack of love. It's emotionally withdrawn. <clears throat> Going away. Getting out quick. There could be some sort of... Uh, I think we have somebody here that emotions are, or maybe this person is emotionless, not giving right next to the six of pentacles reversed. We have a, a feminine that isn't giving. She's not giving. She's not really reciprocating. She's not adding. She's not adding value. She's emotionally withdrawn. She doesn't, maybe she doesn't have good intentions or I don't know, queen of cups reversed. It's, it's like sad maybe. I don't know. But this is like, there's no love. The Queen of Cups in reverse is a lack of, of love or emotionless or emotions all over the place. There could be even an emotional outburst here. There definitely could be an emotional outburst. Absolutely. Could be even emotional blackmail here. Somebody uses tears and, and words to blackmail another person. Getting out of a situation, there's strife, there's conflict. There is conflict here, absolutely. There's something to do with competition here. You know, we gotta, we definitely have some competition here. Somebody has been dealing with some competition. You know, they've been, and they've been battling and fighting with another person. 
Ego has definitely been in the way because the hangman and the five of swords are both ego cards. So somebody has um, missed an opportunity. Maybe they've missed an opportunity with the hangman reversed. That is a missed opportunity because somebody's failure to let go, you know, because of somebody's inability to see, because somebody is trying to prove something, you know, highly egotistical, unwilling to let go in reverse, unwilling to look at things from a new perspective. It's right underneath the emperor. So somebody has been hanging on to some sort of belief that doesn't really serve them anymore or hanging on to a situation that doesn't really serve them anymore, isn't bringing them wish fulfillment, isn't bringing them happiness, nine of cups reverse. I feel like somebody's about to get their bur bubble burst. Somebody may be making a getaway or they're going somewhere or they're, they're in, and I feel like there's just a lack, there's a one-sidedness. With the six of pentacles reverse, there could be a rejection here. Somebody's getting rejected. We also may have a female here that is throwing a fit. She may be throwing a fit. She may be causing strife because she's not getting her way. So be prepared, be, be prepared for that. Maybe blaming others. I feel like we have a, a female here that blames others. She doesn't want to be held accountable for her actions or for what she doesn't do. She causes strife. She cries when she doesn't get her way. Ten of Pentacles. Now, the Ten of Pentacles maybe it could be a change in, in living situation or job. This is the ultimate abundance. Somebody is headed towards financial security, stability. Or this has to do with that. It has to do with financial success. It may just have to do with that. It has to do with stability and security. This decision has to do with stability and security. Ten of Pentacles. This is the ultimate abundance. It's an opportunity to have it all. I don't know where I'm going to put that. headed towards it. I put it right next to the Knight of Swords. Of course I did. Of course I did. So anyhow, headed, headed really, really fast towards long-term stability, something that will last for a really long time, something permanent, building, building a, a long-term or a stable foundation, headed towards financial abundance. But it's not easy. It's definitely not easy because we have somebody here that is using their emotions. They're using their emotions to keep somebody stuck. And it, because the Queen of Pentacles reversed is mirroring the hangman reversed. So this person is using their emotions to keep somebody tied to them. Making it. It could be a judge. It could be a judge. It could be a ruler. This is somebody that is in a position, uh, a position of authority, that is making a decision. They're breaking free. From, there's some sort of freedom here. There is freedom. Fives are about freedom. They really are. And then the hangman reversed is freedom. Breaking free. There is freedom here. Not getting, not receiving. Queen of Pentacles reversed on the bottom. So the Queen of Pentacles reversed is, I don't know if we have somebody here that is financially insecure, can be a male or a female. Um, they're unstable, they're insecure, they can't take care of themselves, they don't, they're, they're lacking the money to take care of themselves, or they're greedy. And I can see greedy with the Six of Pentacles as, as in reverse as well. There's greed. There's greed here. They don't want to share. They don't want to give. They don't want to give their money. This is somebody that is a hoards the money. That and there could be a fight over money here. We have somebody here that doesn't really want to give. Six. They don't want to give. They don't. How fulfilling is that? It ain't. And that's why the Nine of Cups is reversed. When you got to fight. When you got to fight. You got to fight over who's you know the money. When you got to fight over the, you know somebody plays the victim. They don't want to pay. They don't want to be held accountable. You know. They use tears and emotions to get what they want. They throw a little hissy fits and they don't communicate, you know. 
Anyhow, um, Queen of Pentacles reverse. This is, I feel like we have somebody here that is very, um, I don't know, I want to say selfish. Definitely ungrounded. We have very much ungrounded energy here. Not, not practical. This is not practical. It's not realistic. It's not stable. It's not secure. I think that we have somebody here whose emotions are all over the place right now. And they're, it's going to... Something is, it's like they're, they're, they got to do this. I got to do this. I, I can't ignore. Maybe somebody's been ignoring their intuition or they've been ignoring their feelings, not getting what they re deserve, not getting what they need, not getting reciprocated, reciprocation. Maybe there's been some sort of rejection here or there's going to be a rejection going after abundance, going because the Knight of Swords underneath it is the Ten of Pentacles. It's diagonal. The Ten of Pentacles is, is financial stability stability financial abundance long-term material success you know building a legacy starting a legacy building a foundation um there's some sort of strong connection here two people are going to be moving forward there's definitely two people that are going to be moving forward uh we have one individual that's not this person may, may not just be financially stable, you know, that's part of it, or emotionally stable. They don't give. This is somebody that is selfish. We definitely have somebody here that is selfish. There's no doubt about it. Maybe somebody has become awakened about who they're dealing with because the night of, not the night, the uh, yeah. hermit reversed and the hangman reversed is awakened. So I feel like we have somebody that's gone through or they're going through some sort of awakening. They've been thinking a lot. They've been getting a lot of messages. Taking action. Making a decision. One more card and then we're done. That lover's card is connecting. That is connecting with somebody. Eight of Pentacles. That is putting in effort right next to the Knight of Swords, the other side of it. So this is somebody that's going to be doing something. They're going to step up their game. This is like putting in a lot of effort, doing, you know, trying hard to create a foundation. Right underneath it is the Ten of Pentacles, trying hard to create wealth and abundance. Somebody's going to be, this could be a new job or it's a new home or it's a new living situation or it's a new partner. This is a perfect match. There is... There's work ahead, but it, this, is, this is creating abundance. This is taking action to create abundance, to create a solid foundation. This is choosing between the competition. There's, all, there's all, a couple options here. There is. And the Five of Swords is right next to that hermit. So that could be walking away from loneliness. You know, I don't know. If somebody, and you can be in a partnership and still be lonely. Saying goodbye, that could be saying goodbye to a situation where there's been a lot of darkness, you know, somebody's been uh, isolated. I don't know if you can really see it, but there you go. Coming out of isolation, saying goodbye, saying goodbye to loneliness, going in a new direction. Oh my goodness gracious. Saying goodbye to somebody that isn't giving freely, you know, and it doesn't matter what sign it is. This is somebody that is closed off emotionally. So there is some sort of departure here. I also feel like there's an arrival. Somebody's going to be acting, okay? They're going to be taking action, spontaneous action. They're all done, probably competing, playing games. They're ready. Maybe they're ready for love or they're ready for happiness or they're definitely ready for abundance, right? Whatever this is. Ten of Pentacles, financial comfort, creating, creating a new foundation. I mean, hey, putting in an effort to, and the lovers is right above that eight of Pentacles. This does have to do with a partnership. We have a masculine here, and I don't know who it is. Could be any sign at all. This masculine is going to start, or, or he is going to be. It's like it happens fast. It's in its. And it's uh, aggressive. It's aggressive with the uh, Knight of Wands and the Knight of Swords. It's aggressive energy. There, but we definitely have a female here who's trying to use her emotions to control the situation. 
So I feel like, I don't know, I don't know what's going to happen to her, but Queen of Cups reversed. Hmm. Emotionally disappointing. It is emotionally disappointing. Devil reversed, breaking free from an unhealthy, toxic situation. Severing ties. So there is some ties that are being severed. Somebody is making a decision. This is fast. Okay, it's sudden. It's spur of the moment. Going in a new direction. Seriously, this is a fearless dude. It is a fearless energy. A fearless, fearless, absolutely fearless. I gotta do this. I'm going in this direction. I'm gonna, I'm going to, uh, and I don't know if there's a change in living situation or right underneath that Knight of Swords is the Ten of Pentacles or a change in job. Throwing themselves into a situation. They are. They are not going to give up. This person's not going to give up. They, they want this abundance. They want this stability. They want this connection. They feel a connection. And they're not happy with that Nine of Cups reverse. They're not happy at all. So action is going to be taken. Okay? Good luck.